How are we doing out there today? My name is Kenneth Berg. My company is Crystal Age Technology Screens. Uh, we are the makers of the Supreme 12 and now Supreme 15. We also have a new screen coming out um, soon, which is screen paint coming out soon, which is the Advanced uh, Ambient Light Rejection 17 technology. Now, um, this particular pro screen paint is actually really interesting. If you mind, we've done this before. We've done this with a blue screen at 15. We've done this at a purple screen at 15. And now we have a brown screen. Now, the reason why the screens are brown or blue with these strange odd colors is because we developed a technology that allows for the projector to be able to read, or the screen paint to be able to read color. As I said before, you have to go beyond the surface. And if you were to do this with a brown paint or a blue paint or purple paint, you would come up with a screen that would display uh, nothing but a purple tint or a blue tint or brown tint to just about everything. Um, this technology can read white levels, it can read color, it can read contrast. I mean, it's just amazing what this technology can do. And this particular technology is a little interesting because this brown paint or brown coating, what do you want to call it, uh, basically took 20 minutes to make. So we made this in 20 minutes and at 20 minutes on that day, it already did a three screen certification from the door. Um, after that, the next day, it did all the tests in one day, which means it did a short throw or a short throw demonstration. It did a five screen certification, which would be five high end screens versus the technology. It was able to do a uh, distance throw at 20 to 25 feet at only a thousand lumens. Uh, also do to uh, displaying contrast levels as in the star field and several other complicated demonstrations. Uh, against the certified screens, we were able to do multiple colors showing the difference of uh, the screen being able to produce uh, high bright colors and white levels and contrast as compared to certified screens. And one of the final tests that had to be done, oh, I forgot about that, the low lumen test, um, it's where we put it against projectors of 1,000 lumens to 1,500 lumens. That test was passable at around 13 feet. Um, the final test is to take the screen outside, and we do that around 6 o'clock. This technology was able to do it at 4, 430, 450. It was able to produce an image at 13 feet back using a 1,000 lumen projector. It produced a star field demonstration, also displaying it at 190 degree viewing angle. It also did this with floodlights on the porch, uh, the uh, deck, and also multiple colors, including the Starfield demonstration I said before, and Tron, which is a very dark demonstration to pull off outside, especially with a projector of only a thousand lumens. The brown screen was able to read color with no problem whatsoever. Nothing washed out, nothing faded, and you were able to see the image from corner to corner. So, we are going to show you up close of the brown screen. So you can see that it is a brown projection screen. And I'm going to come over here and start firing up the projector. And so we're going to begin. Like I said, this product took 20 minutes to make, which means now this particular technology has stair steps to it, which means that anything we develop under this particular code would take us 20 minutes to develop. Let me adjust my projector a little better. Let me get my remote control, which is over here in my hand. And we'll start. I can come out of this frame. There we go. And this is coming from a brown projection screen using 100% of our color coding technology.
how blue the ocean is. Like I said, you know, with having that 100% coating color technology, we had that in the blue. Blue got the name blue because the screen's blue. It has nothing to do with the color of the screen. Like I said, it all has everything to do with the coating technology that we embed into the screen itself. That's why we can have a brown screen or a purple screen. Uh, below, I'll put the demonstrations for blue and I'll put the demonstrations for the purple technology. And we're gonna start working on a specification sheet for the brown. It will be available, well, actually the name for it is called Supreme uh, Dark Hazel Ambient Light Rejection 15. That's what we call it. It is fully weatherproof. And it actually, for a brown screen, produces some of the most highest white levels. How bright that is. Just show you how high the white levels are for a screen that is brown. And this is the color coding technology that our 12s. 12s have color coding in them. Now they don't have a hundred percent, but they have some color coding. So the so do the um Black silver, that's why black silver screen, I can actually have that screen produce an amazing contrast level, as you've seen in those demonstrations. And, you know, all the screens we develop have that technology capability, they have that code in it, but the 15s and 17s have the 100%. And I want to bring this back so you can see that you can see my environment, it's not dark. My projector sits back around 15 to 16 feet back and it's a fully lit environment. As you see, it's nice and bright all the way around. Now, just to add real quick, uh, the new technology will be available somewhere around Saturday. Um, we're going to have this available in one quart, uh, two quarts, and one gallon. We may have a three gallon. I don't, I'm not sure yet. I'm sorry, not three gallon, three quart kit. Um, but we are going to have this available in one and two. Uh, um, and one and two quarts and one gallon. It does not require any form of priming whatsoever. Um, it is a roll on application only. Uh, very easy to apply. I've done several roll-on demonstrations. Very easy to do. I've done a few on Facebook. Like I said, it's a very easy application to apply with no problem whatsoever. And it's designed to be painted on just about everything you can think of. Um, so we'll put the specification sheets out there. As I said before, before buying the product, uh, please check the specifications below to see if you basically fit any requirements, especially with projectors. This will not support knockoff projectors. You do need name brand projectors to run this technology. Um, other than that, like I said, very easy to apply, very easy to apply. All right, with that being said, I'm gonna let this play a little bit through, and then after that, I am going to sign off. Uh, my name is Kenneth Bird, my company's Crystal Edge, and this right here is our brown projection screen paint, uh, dubbed uh, Supreme uh, Dark Hazel Ambient Light Rejection 15. All right, I'm gonna let this play on.
before I run out of time here because I want to run out of time here on my phone. All right. Thank you all. I had to go and God bless.